The next item that I'm going to show you guys is her play yard. Here, I can like sort of. No, I can't. I can't show you that. I can't show it to you guys that way. I'm sorry. So I'm just going to hold it like this in this awkward angle because I know you all like it. Uh, <laughs> Hey Mountain Family, how's it going? So today I am sharing with you guys my baby must-have items ages newborn or zero to three months. I'm calling this a minimalist edition because honestly, um, this more airs on the side of minimalist than it does the other side. Like what you're about to see is pretty much all of the baby items that I have, save her car seat, which I don't think counts because everybody has to have a car seat. So. I don't count that, and the bassinet and play yard. That's, that's all that I'm not showing. Everything else, this is all I have. I don't have like a mamaru or a swing. Like I just don't have a bunch of baby items. So anyway, without further ado, I'm going to share with you guys my baby must have items. I actually have three small items in front of me and four bigger items right here. So I think I'm gonna start with the small items because they're right in front of me. <laughs> the first item is a medulla medulla. Medella? How do you say it? I don't know how to say it. So to me, it's Medela bottle. And I really like these bottles because this is pretty much it. <laughs> it's just this bottle, a nipple, and the nipple holder. And that's, that's it. I've tried Dr. Brown, which I didn't like because it had too many parts. Um, it, I mean, if you like it because it helps your colicky baby, I totally understand. But for me, I just didn't like it. And I also tried Ma'am, which I also loved. I love the brand Ma'am and this. It's kind of tied. I just don't have a Ma'am bottle because before Andy was born, I threw them all away because they were getting a little bit worn from going through two children, Carly and Kenley. And plus, we didn't have any size one nipples. So all of them were the fast flow for babies that are, you know, like closer to a year old or six months. And I just didn't. I just threw them out and I wasn't able to show you guys the mams that I have, but I have Medela and I love this brand. Um, it's very simple to clean and I can go from pumping to dumping the milk into a freezer bag, put it in the freezer and then fill this up with milk and feed her. So very easy, very simple. I love this. The second item that I have is my cloth diaper. Well, this is a cloth diaper cover. <laughs> I didn't want to show off like my entire stash. So uh, cloth diapers for sure. I didn't start cloth diapering Andy until she was about three months because I just don't have a newborn stash, number one. And number two, it, I would just, it would be really, really hard for me to uh, cloth diaper a newborn on top of my other two kids <laughs> and having to do that much laundry in a day on top of our existing laundry whole oh, wow um no <laughs> so i did newborn diapers and i just used disposables for the first couple months and she's not going as much as she used to because you know newborns go like six seven times a day so we are on cloth now and i love cloths because you will never run out of diapers and it saves you so much money like you can spend well if you go to trade sites you can spend like 200 and get a pretty good stash and that lasts you any more than that is just like fun <laughs> this is just fun diapers because i really want it not because i actually need it um so i love that because disposables you could spend so much money like 1500 for the first however many years your kid is in diapers two three years so that's a lot of money. But anyway, I just had to show off my pretty little cloth diapers because I love them. And the last small item that I have is my baby monitor. And I I think I got this two weeks ago. No, it's been a, mo a month ago. Uh, we recently moved Andy from our room because Devin's on different shifts every week. Some One week he's on midnight shift, one week he's on afternoon shift, and one week he's on day shift. So because his uh, shifts change all the time, Andy was starting to wake him up in the middle of him trying to sleep, and it was becoming it was becoming a problem. So we moved her into Kinley's room, and I did move Kinley into Aunt, into Carly's room, but that became an issue because Kinley is like Carly's best friend, and she wants to play with her all the time, and that becomes problematic at night when she wants to play with Sissy instead of sleep. So then I had to move Kinley back into Andy's room, so Kinley and Andy just sleep in that room. And the toys are all in Carly's room. And when we moved her, I had to get one of these. I didn't want anything fancy. I didn't need a video camera. 
I don't need that. I'm home most of the time. It wasn't necessary. So I just got something cheap and this is the VTech baby monitor. Um, this is the parent unit. The baby unit is obviously in Andy's room right now. I have it turned off because I didn't want the static to affect the video because there is some static and when I read reviews it was one of the downsides of this but it didn't bother me. It still doesn't bother me. I like it anyway because it's cheap and it does what I need it to do which is tell me when Andy is awake. <laughs> and now on to my big items. I'm showing you guys this one first because Oh, I just got it like a week ago, but already it has saved my life. And it is my Lilla Baby All Seasons. I got this at Target and I love it. I've had a May tie, which if you don't know what that is, it's basically this, just without the straps. You tie it instead and I don't like it. <laughs> it hurts my back and the baby slides very slowly down and then you have to pick baby up and readjust everything. Anyway, I'm getting into a review. I don't want to do that. I love this thing. Um, it makes shopping so much easier. Before this, I was having to shop with Andy in the actual buggy. So Devin would have a buggy and I would have a buggy and Andy would have to be in one of ours, which then takes up a lot of your basket space and how do you shop like one buggy would have to be for groceries and one buggy would just have to be for Andy and maybe a few other things because there is no other room I don't know what I would do without this baby carrier I've been wanting to go into like a full-on review of this my Maytai and I have a Moby wrap only it's not the brand Moby it's called I think Cuddlebug I think that's what it's called. I was wanting to do a review of all three of those <clears throat> to like do pros, cons, and show you guys what I like, what I don't like. I just haven't gotten around to it because sit down videos take me like three times as long to edit and upload rather than just daily life videos, but I'm getting to it. So that vlog is coming. I just, just let me get through Carly's birthday, which is coming in 16 days. Just let me get through that and I want to do a carrier review so badly. The next item that I'm gonna show you guys is her play yard. Here, I can like sort of, no I can't. I can't show you that, I can't show it to you guys that way. I'm sorry. So I'm just gonna hold it like this in this awkward angle because I know you all like it. Uh, um, this is her play yard. If you watch my daily life vlogs when I just vlog us living life, you see this a lot. It's the only one I have and I bought it with this, the double things, for a reason. Because with Carly, we bought one that was only, uh, it only had one thing and uh, it was not, <laughs> I didn't like it because this eventually got weak and it would fall and then the whole thing became pointless. So you only got like a couple months out of it and then it was worthless. Again, I didn't get anything super fancy or was anything super expensive. I'm just not, anyway. So I just got something that fulfilled the need, which was to put her on a mat, let her play with the toys or put her on her belly and let her play Again with the toys because there's a little little spot where um, you could put lower hanging toys. So it fulfilled the purpose and that was good enough for me and she loves this thing. I can actually put her in this and she's content for a while. Thank you God. So I really like this and it's easy and fairly cheap and it does what I need it to do. I'm saying that a lot but it's the truth. <laughs> My sixth item is probably going to be a little bit obvious. I really only use this for the first like couple months, but if you're still breastfeeding, a boppy is kind of necessary. A boppy or one of those like nursing um, pillows that you hook to your arm, I've used one of those. And well, and actually I kind of prefer that, <laughs> but it's at my doctor's office. And um, Andy and I switched from being, you know, breastfed to pumping before I could order one. So if you're watching this and you're trying to figure out Okay, boppy or like nursing pillow thing. Go with the nursing pillow thing because it's a lot easier. <laughs> but I still really liked my boppy. This thing is a little bit old because it's been through McKinley and Carly. So it's a little bit, you know, not as pretty as it used to be. But it did exactly what I asked and needed it to do. And that's what it did. Thank you, boppy. And I, d I don't know how you can do breastfeeding without some kind of pillow. <laughs> And my last item is, again, something that I didn't get until Andy was about two months old. 
because I started complaining about my diaper bag. So yes, it's a diaper backpack. I have been meaning to do a vlog on what's in my diaper backpack. I just have not gotten around to it. We just, I don't know. It's really hard again for me to do sit down vlogs because it takes so much time, but I'm, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I will do this vlog because I really want to do it because I love this backpack. You, this is a, what is this? A Graco? Yes. This is a Graco backpack. I got it from Walmart for like $30, I think. I think. Was it $30? I think it was. Oh gosh, I can't remember. Maybe it wasn't. Anyway, it's a lot cheaper than the ones you get online, I'll tell you that. And it does the same stuff. Like, it has a pocket for your, um, yeah. <laughs> it came open. I wasn't meaning for that to happen. It's got a spot for your wipes. It's got a spot for your bottles right here. This is insulated. So, it does like everything that the other diaper bags online do, just a lot cheaper. It's been um, holding it very well with the straps, like there's no fraying, there's no any kind of wear and tear. It's a really good backpack. It's got this mesh right here. I really like this thing, like a lot. I was um, kicking myself for not getting it after we had Kinley, because I told Devin after Kinley was born, we're going to need a bigger diaper bag pretty soon, because this little tiny Minnie Mouse one is not cutting it anymore. And after Andy, we got this, and I'm in love. I just love this thing. Thank you guys so much for watching my somewhat minimalist baby must have video. If you're not subscribed to my channel, I really suggest that you do so because Carly's birthday is coming up and I've got a lot of vlogs that I want to do around her birthday. I want to do some like, like her party theme for instance, I want to do a DIY for her party theme. Not going to tell you what it is, kind of a surprise. But if you're not subscribed, go ahead hit that button because those videos are coming up and I'm really excited for them. And if you want to follow me on social media, my links are also down below. And I will see you guys later in a new vlog. Bye guys.